writing what we see. We can write what we want to see. We would use letters to make words. We can use words to make sentences. What is this picture? This is a duck. When I want to write the word duck, I need letters. I need the letters that make the sound d, a, k. Three sounds. Duck. D. I will need d. Let me mark it. I would need d. Down here and k would be two letters. Can you remember the two letters that say k? Right, I need both of them. I need a C and then the last letter would be K. D a k duck. What is this? This is a pond. I want to write the word pond. I need letters. What letters would I need? I would need p, a, n, d, p. I need to change the color of the marker. I will need p, p, r, o, n, n, d. And D again. P -a -n -d. Pond. Now, what can you say about the duck and the pond? Where is the duck? The duck is in the pond. So I can write that. The, can you remember the? The duck. Let me get my pen again. Let me get my highlighter. And I will choose a different color. Let's try this color. Right. So, I just said the duck is in the pond. And... I have a sentence or I have words that say the duck is in the pond. The duck, duck, remember the duck is here, is it's in, in the again pond, P pond, pond. So, what is a sentence? Well, today we are going to learn what is a sentence. So, you need to pay attention so that you would know how to make a sentence. Let's look at this picture again. Well, another picture. What do you see? An ant and a bee. And I want to write the word ant. And for the songs of the word ant, I need letters. A, N, T. Can you guess what letters I'll need? A, E, N, N, T. T. Very good. And then I need to write B. Remember B from the Jolly Phonics? Well, that's exactly how we're going to spell B. Right. So, let me put it there for you. B and two E's. B, E, E says B. So now, I want to say something about what I'm seeing. Can you tell me what you are seeing? Right. So then, I am talking, so I will say, I see an ant and a bee. 
and you can say the same thing which is answering the question what do you see I this is the word C look at the letters I need letters to write the word C An. Aunt, and a B. Now let's try to read that. I. There's a space. I'll tell you about that space just now. C. An. Aunt. And. A. B. So exactly what I said just now and what you said as well is what I used letters and words to write. So the words that I spoke became words, words there that make a lot of sense. So how do we write a sentence? The first thing you have to know about writing a sentence is that we use letters to make words. So all even when we are talking, when we talk, we speak in sentences or we say things completely. But when we're writing, we also need to have words and knowing our letters is very important. So on the screen, we have a cat and the letters that together say the word cat, the sound C, K, A, A, T, T. And there I have the word cat. K, A, T, cat. There's a picture of a dog. I want to write the word dog. I need sounds. From the word dog, I need d or g. How many songs do I need? Use your fingers. D or g. Three songs. I need d. What letter says d? D. Or. What letter? O. G. What letter? G. So when I put d or g together, I get dog. So now... We have a picture of two animals. We have a cat and a dog. Now, I'm going to tell you something, and then we will see what we have in terms of the words on the screen. So, I want to say that the cat and the dog are pets. Let's see what the words say. The, can you guess what k a is cat and the what about dog what is that dog the cat and the dog we learned this word are pets pets so the cat and the dog are pets. The next thing we need to know is that we use a group of words to make a sentence. And we have already gone through that, but let us look at what we have here. I have a sentence here. I have a group of words, and I know there it's a group of words because each word is separated by a space, which we will talk about just now. So what do you see? A hen, well not chicken, a hen and a mouse. Now, I want you to take a look at the picture and then I'm going to ask you a question and then you will see what you, well, at least you will answer the question. So, which of the animals is big? Your answer, the hen is big. So, let's see. Can you remember this? The, who knows what is h-e-n. H-e-n, 
hen. The hen is 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 big big. The hen is big big. So I just said something. I just need another sen sentence using words. So what we also need to learn about sentences is that what we say and write must make sense. If it does not make any sense at all, if you are talking crazy and you are writing crazy, then it is not a sentence. Remember, a sentence must make sense. Now let's look at this here. I try to write a sentence here and tell me if this is a sentence or not. Now first of all, take a look at the girl. Yes, right. Now what if I ask you a question? I wonder if you'd be able to answer. What do you see here? A girl slips in mud? No, in water. So what are you seeing here? Right? So let's see what someone wrote here. Someone says, I see a what? A what? Is that person finished? That person is not finished. Would you say that is a sentence? Does it make sense? No, it doesn't make any sense. It sounds as though this person is missing something. They didn't put everything there for us. Because we are seeing a lot of things happening there. So all I'm seeing is, I see a... So this is not... Oh no, this cannot be a sentence. It doesn't make any sense. Let's try the other one. I see a girl slip, slip in the water. I wonder if this person is finished saying it and we understand exactly what this person is saying. I see a girl slip in the water. Hmm. Does that make sense? Is that person saying something that makes sense? Did that person give us an idea or tell us everything they are seeing? Right, so their thought is complete. So this is a sentence. So remember, as when you are writing, when you are writing a sentence, you have to make sense. So it means that when you are speaking, you have to speak properly. If you know if you don't speak properly and you say things by little pieces, then people will look would look at you and think that you are crazy. Because when we speak, we speak our ideas, our thoughts our, from our mind as a whole complete thought. Let's move on. Right. So remember I told you we need to come back to that space in the sentences we did. Now here is one of the fourth tip. When we are writing a sentence, we need to put a finger space after each word. We don't want the words to be crowded and jumbled up. It's like when you're speaking. When you're speaking, you don't prattle off things and, and, and join your words so that nobody will understand. Right, so you take your time and the spaces is what we need when we are writing. Okay, so remember this sentence. Hen. Right, and I ask you the question. Which of the animals is big? And then you told me the hen is big. Well, I have the same thing here. The, but take a look at this here. I put a finger space between the word. There's a finger space. Don't jam up the words so that they all get mixed up and crazy. All right? So the, I put a finger space. 
can finger space again is finger space again big so when we are writing our thoughts into sentences we need to put a space after every word so the hen is big what do you think will happen if I did not put any spaces anyone who's trying to read my 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 sentence would go crazy for example if I didn't put a space or finger spaces there it would be then it's big then it's big and then you would look at me and say well something is wrong okay so then another thing about writing sentences is that we always begin or start our sentence with a capital letter every sentence begins with a capital letter so let's look at the picture again this is a picture what is this a picture of a parrot a bird but better yet a parrot so I said for my sentence I wrote the parrot can sing look at it here the parrot parrot can can sing sing take a look at the first letter my first letter the in the or the first thing I said the first letter is a capital letter and look at my space look at my space the parrot look at my space look at my finger space right so I won't mix you all up good and the last point is that when we are finished with our sentence we need to put a full stop so take a look at the picture right how do you think the pot would feel when you touch it right the pot is hot as a matter of fact how do you know it's hot because we see the steam coming out so we know that the pot is hot now I wrote the pot is hot take a look at my sentence the remember I started with a capital letter spaces let me put in mark, mark the spaces first before I read it just to show you right the pot is hot, hot. I'm finished saying that so I put a dot notice a dot and when you are writing a full stop it's just you just take a pencil and you just make one dot like a small dot I don't want to see any circles like that you don't make a dot as a circle no it's a point well it's a point right so let me make a proper full stop again with a pen right full stop are you seeing it right so the pot is hot so here we went over many points about a sentence writing a sentence when we speak properly we write properly if we talk crazy and don't finish what we say we are actually going to do that and then what we write would not be a sentence so remember the key points as we went over remember you start your sentence with a capital letter make a finger space after every word and always end your sentence with a full stop and there are other marks that we can use as well but for today just learn about the full stop i hope you had fun and enjoyed learning about the sentence bye